Many people in rural areas that carry out farming as a daily practice have relied on traditional knowledge to produce their yields. This knowledge includes timely rainy seasons and dry seasons which give them the knowledge and accurate timing to know when to plant which crops in their gardens. But over the years, as the climate has changed, the seasons have become less easily defined and as a result, crop planting has occurred at any time of the year, which led to soil exhaustion and poor yields. Now, soil scientists are encouraging people to apply fertilizers in the soil and insist that Ugandan soils are not as fertile as it is believed by many farmers. It is not true. The soils are not fertile. They are inherent of raw fertility, that's especially nitrogen and phosphorus problem. And also once we start cultivating, we depend on that little natural fertility. Although compared to other soils in the tropics, they could be at a better standard. When soil is formed, it starts with the large number of nutrients which are consumed by the plants over the years, and the animals that feed on the plants also drain the nutrients from the environment. So... What kind of fertilizers should be applied? Like manure, compost, and the, those are normally called what they call organic fertilizers. And in organic fertilizers, those are the ones which are manufactured in the factory, like urea, TS, urea so that supplies normal nitrogen, TSP, supply, that's triple superphosphate, supplies, uh, triple superphosphate supplies phosphorus. A single superphosphate supplies phosphorus also. Then you have uh, another type like immediate of potash, which normally supplies potassium. Compound fertilizers also supply more than one nutrient. The three main nutrients that are required from fertilizers are nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium because they are the most deficient in the soils. But how does someone know which fertilizer to apply in their garden? If a soil has organic matter, which is below 3%, to me that's a poor soil. We are supposed to add either manure or to add fertilizers. If the phosphorus level, a very phosphorus is below 5%, you are supposed to have supply phosphorus. But from analysis. There are alternatives to fertilizers such as organic ways of putting back some nutrients into the soil by planting legumes like beans, peas, peanuts, lentils and groundnuts which release nitrogen back into the soil as they grow. But if a legume plant, this one they have root nodules that are swelling on the roots, they fix nitrogen. But if that legume was growing in the soil, which is poor in phosphorus. It's not going to fix nitrogen. Uganda, however, does not manufacture any fertilizers and relies on imports which are expensive. But the Ministry of Agriculture has plans to set up an efficient fertilizer policy to boost the current use which is at one kilogram per hectare, the lowest in the East African region. We have raw materials for manufacturing fertilizer in this country. We have phosphate deposits, we have lime, we have volcanic materials, we have vermiculite, and we can even get a nitrogen through the atmosphere. The lack of fertilizer use in Uganda has had severe impacts on the environment. Some crops are acidic and have multiple nutrient deficiencies. As a result, the plants do not grow properly, leaving the soil exposed to the rain. Over the years, a lot of topsoil is lost. The poor fertility results in the loss of topsoil, makes the field less fertile and exposes more soil to erosion, a cycle which ends with the land becoming totally unproductive. And, and you see the fertility of our soils is with the top 20 centimeters. And once you lose that soil, the fertility is gone. You can't bring it back. 
That's why you find that people are now going to wetlands because that soil has been carried by the water through soil erosion and has been trapped by the vegetation in the wetlands. So farmers are now following the soil to the wetlands. And once they clear those wetlands, the soils end up into water bodies, causing other environmental problems. Some claim there is a lot of misinformation on the effect of fertilizer use on the environment. And it should be pointed out that balanced fertilization is required and necessary to farmers. Applying fertilizer is a cost of production. It is also a cost. It is an input. So we, it is important that we educate our people to know uh, that uh, you need the f proper farm practices uh, besides fertilizers. And then when you apply fertilizers, you, you get high yield and then you get, uh, you break even. Because farmers are not in just a way of life. Fertilizer use, if consistent, allows farmers to continuously achieve high yields on the same land for many years, eliminating the need for clearing new lands. In many situations where fertilizers are not used, farmers have resorted to slash and burn agriculture, which degrades the environment. The debate over fertilizer use continues, and whether Uganda will embrace its use remains unclear. Craig Kadoda, NTV, Ecotalk.